गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट्स आवर सेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेयर वॉज द इलेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल पपिट फेस्टिवल इनोग्रेटेड सो द इलेवेंथ इंटरनेशनल पपिट फेस्टिवल वॉज इनोग्रेटेड एट द टैगोर थिएटर that lies in chandigarh on 17th of february and this festival's inauguration was presided over by the governor of punjab and administrator ut chandigarh who is it panwari lal purohit along with mr rajiv verma who is advisor to the administrator so this festival runs from 17th of february up to 21st of february and it includes a special morning shows for the students and special evening shows for the general public also the festival features a puppet exhibition that includes live demonstration of puppet making fine so what was the venue for 11th international puppet festival answer is chandigarh now here our keyword is festival and in the next slide we will see some of the important festivals that came into news the first one is where was the cultural festival vividhata ka amrit mahotsav organized This mahotsav was organized in New Delhi. Which district of Kerala is set to host the International Literature Festival? Answer is Thrissur. Thrissur is set to host the International Literature Festival. Rusoma Orange Festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state? This Orange Festival is celebrated in the state of Naga Land. Goli Mela Festival which was seen in the news is hosted by which Indian state? Answer is Jammu and Kashmir. Maru Mahotsav also known as Desert Festival is celebrated in which region of India it is celebrated in Jaisalmer city Jaisalmer lies in Rajasthan right Pakke Paga Hornbill Festival which was seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state this is the festival of Arunachal Pradesh and don't forget that only Hornbill festival is celebrated in the state of Nagaland Chandubi festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state this festival is celebrated in the state of Assam okay next is where was the statue of khasi freedom fighter u tirod singh recently unveiled here correct answer is dhaka and statue of u tirod singh who was a khasi hills freedom fighter actually he resisted british colonialism 200 years ago and his statue was recently unveiled at the indira gandhi cultural center in dhaka okay he is known as the hero of the khasi hills and his heroic struggle against the british forces in 1829 especially during the anglo khasi war has inspired many uh, later on so he was captured and uh, then he died in dhaka in the year 1835 and to commemorate this day his legacy is celebrated here so that's why the statue of khasi freedom fighter yutrod singh was recently unveiled in dhaka Now in the next slide we will see some of the important statues that were recently unveiled. First one is where was the statue of India's first chief of defence staff late general bipin rawat unveiled. This is an extremely important question and here correct answer is Dehradun. His statue has been unveiled in Dehradun. An 8 foot tall statue of Mahatma Gandhi was revealed at Tolstoy farm in which country? Answer is South Africa. Which state has recently unveiled a statue of Lachit Barfukan? His statue has been unveiled in the state of Assam uh, just two three months back. Statue of Equality, the largest statue of B R Ambedkar outside India, is to be unveiled in which country? This statue of B R Ambedkar is known as the Statue of Equality, and it is said to be unveiled in U S A very soon. Which state unveiled a statue of Adi Shankara Charya, named as Statue of Oneness? That is Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So these are some of the important statues that have been unveiled in the past six to seven months. Next is recently, which country has overtaken Japan as the world's third largest economy? Here, answer is A option that is Germany. As of February 2024, Germany is the world's third largest economy, surpassing the country Japan. Okay, actually, Japan's economy was contracted by 0.4 percent in the fourth quarter of 2023, pushing the country into recession, and this is due to weak domestic consumption. 
and uh, due to their weak currency and the shrinking population. So the IMF's latest projections estimate Germany's nominal GDP at 4.4 trillion dollars this year compared with 4.2 trillion dollars for Japan. Okay. So recently, uh, Germany has overtaken Japan and now Germany is the world's third largest economy. Right? Let's see some of the important ranks and indices. What is the rank of India in the Corruption Perception Index 2023? So in this index, India is ranked at 93 position out of 180 countries. Which countries are at the top three positions? The first one is here, Denmark. Second is Finland. And the third one is New Zealand. Who has become the first woman to hold the rank of Subedar in Indian Army? This is Preeti Rajak. Preeti Rajak is the very first woman to hold the rank of Subedar in Indian Army. According to the 2024 Hindley Passport Index, what is the rank of India? So as per this index, India's rank is 80 out of 199 countries. So with India's visa, you can visit in 62 countries. Which Indian city achieved the highest ranking in India in Mercer's Quality of Living City Index 2023? Answer is Hyderabad. And last is what is the rank of India in the World Bank's Logistics Performance Index report? In this index report, India was ranked at 38th position. Don't forget that this index is released by the World Bank. Okay. Also, don't forget to tell me which countries were at the topmost position in this Hanley Passport Index. Please write your answer in the comment section. Recently, who became the second Indian bowler to take 500 wickets in the test matches? So, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi praised the spinner Ravi Chandran Ashwin for reaching 500 test wickets, making him the second Indian bowler to achieve this after Anil Kumble. Okay. So, Ravi Chandran Ashwin joins an exclusive group of off spinners with only Murli Dharan and Nathan Leon surpassing the 500 wickets criteria. Also, he is the third off spinner in history to achieve this milestone. Despite this feat, he trails Kumble's total wickets, who retired with 619 scalps. And uh, this historic moment occurred on the second day of the ongoing test against England, dismissing Zach Crawley. Okay. So, Recently, Ravi Chandran Ashwin became the second Indian bowler to take 500 wickets in the test matches. Let's see some of the important cricket related current affairs. The first one is recently, which state won the Nagesh Trophy in the men's national T20 cricket for the blind? Here, answer is Karnataka. And Karnataka has defeated Andhra Pradesh state to win this trophy. Recently, which cricket player made history by hitting the fastest triple century in the first class cricket? Here, answer is Tanmay. Agarwal. Recently, he made history by hitting the fastest triple century in any first class cricket. Which player is said to be awarded the Cricketer of the Year at the BCCI Award? Here answer is Shubman Gill. And uh, also, you have to remember that coach Ravi Shastri has been awarded with Lifetime Achievement Award at the BCCI Awards. Sean Marsh, who has written, recently retired from cricket, is a player from which country? Sean Marsh has uh, finally retired from the cricket. And he is from Australia. Recently, which cricketer became the first men's player to play 150 T20 eyes? Answer is Rohit Sharma. Recently, he became the very first men's player to play 150 T20 internationals. Okay. Recently, where were the iron ore deposits uncovered in the state of Rajasthan? So, Rajasthan Mines Department has discovered over 840 million tons of iron ore in Khoda, Dadaroli. Todupura and Liloti were near Hindon in Karuli. Okay. So a composite license for iron ore blocks spanning 1,888 hectares is set for auction. Also preliminary exploration revealed magnetite and hematite deposits in across 462.3 hectares in Khoda and then 754.38 hectares in the Daroli, 260.71 hectares in Todupura and in Liloti there is uh, 410 
0.94 hectares. So the findings are expected to boost industrial investment, particularly it would benefit steel, cement, coal and related industries in the state. Basically, it would foster economic growth and job opportunities, right? So this data is not at all relevant. It is just for understanding. You have to remember that in Karoli, the iron ore have deposits have been uncovered in the state of Rajasthan. Let's see some state related current affairs. The first one is Nohar irrigation project recently seen in the news is associated with which Indian state. So this project is from Jaipur, Rajasthan and it is said to receive increased water supply as the Firozpur feeder in Punjab undergo repair. So definitely it would enhance its capacity and flow following central water commission intervention. A technical committee recommended Nohar feeder remodeling due to inadequate water availability and Rajasthan and Punjab both the governments agreed to collaborate and Union Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat convened a meeting to review the progress right so it focuses on renovating Baru Valley distributary and Fatehabad branch and the estimated expenditure for the project is around 139 crore rupees fine so Nuhar irrigation project is associated with the state of Rajasthan next is Pandaram land recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state or the Union territory. So it lies in Lakshadweep and why it came into news because a dispute in Lakshadweep has arisen over the administration's assertion of the government ownership of this Pandaram lands leading to tension with the locals and the conflict increased because the administrator claimed the Pandaram properties belong to the government which contradicts traditional ownership and locals allege the administration that they are violating the high court a stay on numbering the coconut trees on Pandaram lands which would suggest potential felling and despite officials refusing to comment on record a senior official dismissed concerns as presumption fine so since this land came into news you have to remember only its location that it lies in Lakshwadi. Mission Basundra recently seen in the news is an initiative of which Indian state Mission Basundra belongs to Assam. Recently, which state government launched the One Mitra scheme to boost the green cover? Answer is Haryana. Haryana has launched the One Mitra scheme so as to increase their green cover. Mukhi Mantri Kanya Sumangla Yojana, recently seen in the news, is an initiative of which Indian state? This Yojana has been launched by UP government. PM Swanidhi scheme, recently seen in the news, is launched by which particular ministry? Here, answer is Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So, Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri praised the PM Swanidhi for restoring street vendors' dignity during the pandemic. It was launched in the year 2020 and the scheme provided affordable working capital loans uh, with total amount of 10,678 crore rupees to over 60.94 lakh street vendors, right? So, this initiative is overseen by the uh, Small Industries Development Bank of India, that is SIDBI, which works under Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. And uh, they distributed the loans to 10,000 vendors at the PM Swanidhi Mega Camp, which would benefit those who are severely affected by the COVID-19 lockdown. Fine. So PM Swanidhi scheme is associated with Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Now let's have a look at some of the important ministries that came into news. The first one is which ministry has launched the renewed portal of the Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund? The answer is Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. National Generic Document Registration System, recently seen in the news, is associated or initiated by which ministry? answer is Ministry of Rural Development. Recently, which ministry signed a contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for the procurement of 11 Shakti Warfare System? answer is the Defence Ministry. Recently, which ministry inaugurated the pilot project titled as Smart Gram Panchayat at Paprur Gram Panchayat in the state of Bihar? Answer is Ministry of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj. Ministry of Education recently signed an agreement with which international governing body to promote football in the country? So, Education Ministry had signed this agreement with FIFA so as to promote the football in the country. Okay. Recently, which country became the first orthodox majority nation to allow the same-sex marriage? Here answer is Greece, that is A option. In February, Greece became the first orthodox Christian country to legalize same-sex marriage under the civil law. And the Athens parliament 
pass the bill with a vote of 176 to 76 and also the bill allows same sex couples to legally adopt the children fine so greece became the first orthodox majority nation to allow the same sex marriage now let's have some international current affairs Recently, which country has overtaken Japan as the world's third largest economy? Just we have talked about it. Answer is Germany. Second is Prabowo Subianto, recently seen in the news, became the new president of which particular country? So recently he became the new president of Indonesia and uh, he is a 72 year old former special forces commander and defense minister. India signed a memorandum of understanding with which country for sharing open sourced digital public infrastructure. So recently India and the Colombia signed a memorandum of understanding to share India's open sourced digital public infrastructure and this MOU is for cooperation in digital transformation including some sharing of successful digital solutions that have been implemented at population scale. So India has developed some of the world's best digital public goods infrastructure including the delivering services to the public during the COVID pandemic, right? So India has signed this MOU with Colombia for sharing open sourced uh, digital public infrastructure. Recently, which country's instant payment platform ANI was linked with India's UPI? Here answer is UAE. Recently, the instant payment platform of UAE named as ANI has been linked with our country's UPI. Recently, which country is launching the dream of the desert rain in the Middle East? Answer is Saudi Arabia. Next is Zimithang Taksing and Chayang Tajo recently in the news due to the vibrant villages program are located in which Indian state? Here answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Actually Chinese citizens are occupying the Ziaokang border defense villages along India's northeastern border and China has already built 628 well off villages along India's border with Tibet in the past five years which covers Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. So in response, India launched the Vibrant Villages program in 2022. Basic aim is to develop 663 border villages into modern tourist attraction. And uh, these places are located in the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh. And these villages are the part of Vibrant Villages program, which is a pilot initiative by the government to develop remote and border villages, right? So here correct answer is D option that is Arunachal Pradesh. Now let's have a look at uh, some of the recent news. The first one is, what is the primary objective of Bharati Bhasha Samiti recently seen in the news? So the chairman of Bharati Bhasha Samiti recently advocated for promoting Indian languages in education, where he announced that the textbooks will soon be available in Indian languages on digital platform. So it was established by the Ministry of Education in 2021 under the National Education Policy 2020. It involves recommending pathways for holistic growth of Indian languages. Uh, also, it advised the Ministry on language revitalization and also uh, it organizes some events to emphasize the language promotion. So high powered committee may appoint the subcommittees and collaborate with the government institutions for language teaching and research, right? So what is the primary objective of this Samiti? You can say that uh, the basic objective is to promote Indian languages in the education sector. What is MNBI 2S4 recently mentioned in the news? So it is a kind of mineral and uh, the researchers have uncovered a unique electric polarization mechanism in the mineral and it exhibits some distinctive magnetic structures like spin density, wave, uh, helical spin structure, etc. So that's why it came into news. You have to remember that this is a kind of mineral. Your options could be like, what is it? It is asteroid or uh, some name of satellite or etc. But you have to remember that this is a name of mineral. The Bocha Sanvasi Akshar Purshottam Swaminarayan Sanstha Temple was recently inaugurated in which city of UAE? It was uh, recently inaugurated in Abu Dhabi. Hori Habba recently seen in the news is associated with which Indian state? It was associated with Karnataka. Alexander Stubb recently became the president of which country? Recently he became the new president of Finland country. Next is which of the following personalities have been named the recipients of the 58th Janan Peeth award? This is an extremely important question and answer is here the renowned 
उर्दू पोएट गुलजार एंड संस्कृत स्कॉलर जगत गुरु राम भद्राचार्य ओके दे हैव बीन अनाउंस्ड एज द रेसिपियंट ऑफ द फिफ्टी एथ जनन पीत अवार्ड बाय द जनन पीत सिलेक्शन कमिटी एंड दिस प्रेस्टिजियस अवार्ड इज रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ दियर सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू लिटरेचर एंड इन दर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द अवार्ड वॉज कन्फर्ड अपॉन द गोवान राइटर द नेम ऑफ होम इज दामोदर माउजो ओके एंड जनन पीत अवार्ड वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन दर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन इट इज वन ऑफ द हाइएस्ट लिटरेरी ऑनर्स इन इंडिया एंड विद दिस वी सेलिब्रेट द आउटस्टैंडिंग राइटर्स इन वेरियस इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस राइट सो हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज गुलजार एंड जगत गुरु राम भद्राचार्य लेट सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट अवार्ड्स एंड ऑनर्स रिसेंटली विच बैंक हैज क्लेज द टाइटल ऑफ बेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी बैंक ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड दिस इज साउथ इंडियन बैंक हु इज द करेंट एम डी ऑफ साउथ इंडियन बैंक मिस्टर पी आर सिशाद्री Recently, I Triple E Kerala section has given the KPP Nambiar Award to whom this award has been presented to our ISRO chairman S Somnath. Recently, which city of UP received the Santos Water Warrior Award? This award has been presented to Noida city of UP. Recently, who received the 2024 Best Green Bond Corporate Award at the Asset Triple E Awards for Sustainable Finance? Here answer is R E C Limited. And last is how many Padma awards were approved by the president for the conferment on the eve of 75th Republic Day? Here answer is 132. Last question is: Scientists recently detected the water molecules on the surface of two asteroids for the first time ever by using which particular telescope? Here answer is A option that is Sophia and it belongs to NASA. Okay, this is a telescope which is mounted on Boeing 747 SP. aircraft and recently it discovered water molecules on the surface of the two asteroids marking the first such detection okay it is operating for the last 12 years and uh, sofia is jointly operated by nasa and uh, the german space agency okay it is studied infrared light that allowed the astronomers to observe the universe from 38000 to 45000 feet and it was the world's largest airborne astronomical observatory that facilitates unique studies of celestial bodies and transient events globally right so scientists have detected the water molecules on the surface of two asteroids for the first time ever by using the sofia telescope let's see some space related current affairs first question is extremely important which russian cosmonaut recently set the record for spending the maximum time in space here answer is olog kono nenko okay he is from russia and recently he set the record for spending the maximum time in space vyo mitra robot recently seen in the news is associated with which space mission this robot is associated with our gaganyaan mission which space agency recently conducted its first mobile robotic mission to the moon that is viper rover here answer is nasa fast telescope recently seen in the news is developed by which country answer is china and last is 30 meter telescope project which is a joint collaboration of which one of the following countries so 30 meter telescope project is a joint collaboration between us japan china canada and india these are the five countries which are involved in this telescope project okay so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today i hope you have liked the session let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today with this Minus Hatsana signing off